everyone, welcome to my channel, Andra Makes, and it is another Happy Mail Day. I'm going to be showing you what is in the July Thread Crate subscription box. Thread Crate is a garment sewing subscription box that's geared for the beginner sewist. And there's a men's box, a kid's box, and a women's box. And there's also a smaller option called the Mini Crate. And I have a link in the description box that is specific to me. And if you'd like to check out Thread Crate and if you subscribe using my specific link, I'll receive a commission for spreading the word about Thread Crate. It's a small business, female owned, and Thread Crate is owned by Cassandra. So if you like supporting female owned small businesses, check out my link in the description box. And I also have a discount code for you listed in the description box as well, so be sure and check that out. I do not receive these boxes for free. I subscribe and pay for them, and I would never endorse or recommend or say I love something if I don't. And not only am I going to be showing you what's in the box, but I have a giveaway at the end, so be sure and stay tuned for that. So let's get to what's in the box. It comes with this tissue paper on top, and there is a sheet telling and describing everything that's in this month's box. And there's a code on the back of this where you go to the Pattern of the Month's website and you'll enter that code and you have access to that pattern and the instructions and all that good stuff. So there's a fabric swatch card where you can put a swatch of any fabric on there and it says fiber content, yards available, the width, color, and any notes. There's a little organza pouch and inside it is some elastic. A Microtex needle, some white, Guterman thread and three clips. And I'm super excited about this because I have actually been wanting one of these and have been looking them up online, but it's a mini French curve ruler. Sorry about the glare. And the description of the ruler is you can make professional alterations with the ruler, which helps you alter patterns for personal fit, including curves for the neckline, armhole, sleeve cap, hip line, waistline, and hemline. So I'm really excited about having one of these. I've been wanting one. And then there's a lint brush. And I really like this one because it's long. I have several shorter ones, but I really like that this is long so you can really get into the back of your machine. And you also get this neat little pouch. And the lining is waterproof. So you can put cosmetics or your swimsuit or whatever in there. There's the inside and then there's also a pocket right there. This navy and white stripe, super cute, and it has a wristlet strap. And the pattern for this month is the Marisol. It's a swimsuit cover-up or a dress, and it's by Made for Mermaids. As you can see right there, and it's described as can be styled as a cover-up or dress depending on fabric opacity. Choose from three lengths, cover-up, dress, or T-length. Dress and T-lengths can have either a straight or a curved hem. Choose from full sleeve or split sleeve option. Waist can be fully elastic with or without a faux drawstring, elastic in the back with functional drawstring in front, or can be made without elastic altogether. So again, there's the pattern. 
And I forgot to mention, you also get the paper pattern that's already printed on AO style paper. So you get the paper pattern and then you also get the code to go on to the website and you can download the pattern if you need to or want to print it at home and then you'll get the instructions of course. And the fabric this month is I actually got three cuts of fabric. One three yard cut and then two I bl believe they're either one and one and a half yard cuts and it's this very pretty chiffon. This one's navy and white like a geometric print. That's the larger cut, the three yards. And then the smaller cut is this very pretty pink floral with pink and white and green. And then there was another one and a half yard cut, I believe. One or one and a half. This very pretty floral also. Orange and yellow and green. Very pretty flowers. And as you can see, everything you need comes in the box to be able to make the pattern, even the elastic, which I think is really neat. And if you've been watching my Thread Crate unboxings from the beginning, I have said that I would try my best every month to do a sew along for the pattern that's in the box, barring any unforeseen circumstances. And there is an unforeseen circumstance this month. It's chiffon. As you guys know, I'm not a fan of fiddly, flimsy, or frustrating either fabrics or projects. And chiffon is all three of those things for me. I do not enjoy sewing with it. This is just me, my personal experience and opinion. It's not something that I enjoy sewing. So I'm not going to be able to do a tutorial for this pattern, but if you want to make it and you are making it and you find that you need some help, I will be happy to Zoom or Skype or whatever with you to help you as best I can. I do understand the instructions, but I just do not enjoy sewing chiffon and I also don't really have a need or want a swimsuit cover-up so that's another reason I'm not going to be able to do the tutorial but like I said I'll be able to help as best I can we can zoom one-on-one -on -one, Skype whatever just let me know but the made for mermaids instructions are really good and I'm sure that they can help you as well but like I said I'll be happy to help as best I can if this is something that you would like to make and I do want you to know that I actually tried to make this. I was going to give it a go and see if I could make it work. And as you guys know, I am not a perfectionist by any means. I don't need or want my things to look perfect, but I do like them to look nice. And I spent several hours with this fabric, this is actually, you can see that I've already cut this, trying to make this and sew with the chiffon as best I could, and I actually hacked the pattern into a top instead of a swimsuit cover-up, which, like I said, I don't really need or want a swimsuit cover-up, but I hacked it into a top, and all you do if you want to do that is just sew the side seams as normal, and like I said, I spent several hours on it and it is a hot mess. Uh, it has a V neckline in the front and there's a facing. So a V neckline with a chiffon facing did not work out the best for me. And I tried, believe me, I unpicked and re-sewed and unpicked and re-sewed and like I said, just trying to get it to look nice, not perfect or anything like that. But I just couldn't do it. And I just couldn't get it to work. So the giveaway is 
chiffon fabric. The first person to comment and say that they would like the fabric, I will send it to you for free. Here's the blue fabric. If you'd like it, comment and say that you would like the blue fabric and I will send it out to you. And if you would like the pink fabric, the first person to comment and say that they would like it, I will send it out to you as well. Some fun things you can do with chiffon that's not really frustrating is just to, you can make a scarf and just do like a rolled hem with your serger or do a zigzag all the way around or something. Anything that you don't have to sew two layers together would be really great. And the fabric is beautiful. I mean, it, it's gorgeous, as you can see. But it's not something that I enjoy sewing. And just because this month's fabric and pattern weren't for me, that's fine. I'm sure there's many people out there who would want and need and would love a swimsuit cover made from chiffon, but it's just not for me and that's okay and that is not going to keep me from continuing to subscribe and I still enjoy receiving the boxes every month. In fact, I'm wearing the fabric that came in last month's box both on the top and the bottom. This is the white modal fabric that was in the June box and I absolutely love it and I made a galaxy tee with it and I'll stand up so you can see. It's beautiful. I love the drape of the fabric. I mean, it's gorgeous. And I have a video on my channel about how I have hacked the Galaxy T three different ways. So check that out if you haven't seen it. And I'm also wearing the Misa shorts. This is the fabric and the pattern that was in last month's Thread Crate box. Absolutely love it have a tutorial on my channel how to make it. If you don't subscribe to Thread Crate and would still like to make the shorts, you can buy the pattern directly from Style Sew Me. So check out that video if you're interested. And it also comes in pants length option. And I'm actually gonna make the pants next month. They're part of my August sewing plans. But I'll stand up so you can see the shorts. This is a gorgeous rayon linen blend fabric in this very beautiful olive color and this, these are the Misa shorts. As you can see they're high waist, paper bag waist style with a belt and these very fun cool pockets. There you can see they're shorts. But I absolutely love these. So that's what's in the July Thread Crate box. Let me know what you think and be sure and comment below if you'd like the fabric and I'll be happy to send it out to you. And if you're interested in learning more about Thread Crate or subscribing, check out my link in the description box and also the discount code. And as always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. If you haven't subscribed already, I would really appreciate it if you would. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. And I also have a discount for... And, uh, and the description of it is make professional, accurate, <laughs> okay, and this, okay, and the description of it is make professional, accurate, <laughs> accurate, and the description for it is make professional, accurate, <laughs> I can't say it. And the description for it is make professional, accurate, <laughs> accurate, accurate. And the description for it is make professional, accurate, <laughs>